Hi there, I got asked by a student recently whether uh, it was ever acceptable for forklift drivers not to wear seatbelts. They've got a problem with forklift drivers refusing to wear seatbelts because they hop on and hop off uh, very frequently, almost you know every couple of minutes they're on that forklift and back off of it. So do forklift drivers have to wear their seatbelts, particularly in, a, in an industrial environment where they're inside, things are flat, the ground is in good condition, no slopes, no gradients, that kind of thing. It's like, well, what's the risk? Well, here's the risk, is that according to the ACOP, the Approved Code of Practice on the Safe Use of Forklift Trucks, uh, I think it's L117, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, um, it says in there, in no uncertain terms, that if a restraint system is fitted to the forklift, then it should be used. So, if you allow your forklift drivers not to wear their seatbelts, you are deviating from the ACOP, which is quite risky legally, because you will then in a prosecution have to prove that you took other measures which were just as effective as what the ACOP says. And here's a bit of a clue. I don't think there are any other measures which are just as effective as a seatbelt. So, what do we do? Well, you're gonna to have to enforce it, I'm afraid. There's no, there's no way around it. Now, this isn't going to be popular with said forklift drivers, understandably. And that's the first thing to say to them, is I, I understand, I understand. You don't need to turn this into a big argument where you get all draconian and say, you will do it and I don't care what you think. No, I do care what you think and it's a pain and I understand and if I were you, I wouldn't want to wear the seatbelt either. I get it. Here, let me explain why I'm asking you to do this very inconvenient thing. And at that point, you can start to educate them a little bit. Say, hey, let's watch a, a couple of YouTube videos. Nothing gory, nothing nasty. You know, you don't have to watch any death, but you can watch some of the near misses, and there are plenty of them on YouTube. Near misses where forklifts overturn and people jump out and nearly get squashed by it. You could show them that. You could show them how easy it is to overturn a forklift. You don't need bumps or potholes or curbs. You just need someone having a bad day, going a bit too fast, load a little bit too high, going around a corner, slamming on the brakes, hitting a curb. You know, it's, it's actually very, very easily done. Try to get your forklift drivers to agree that it is a risk and get them to agree that this is a common sense way of managing that risk. Now, chances are you won't persuade everyone, but you might persuade some if you do this well enough. But for those who cannot be persuaded, try and ask them, ask them nicely to look at it from your point of view. Whilst they might be happy to accept the risk to themselves, and that is their right, there is still a risk to you, legally and morally as well. Tell them about the prosecution that happened back in 2016, where a company got fined, I think it was £150,000, something like that. A 27-year-old driver who was known to not wear a seatbelt got crushed by his own forklift when it overturned. And the company knew it and had failed to enforce it. They had warned him and warned him and asked him and asked him, but they didn't bite the bullet and get him to wear the damn thing. And they're the ones who got fined. Say to, to your forklift driver who's resisting you, you can say to them, said, listen, I know you're happy to accept the risk. And if I were allowed to, if it were up to me, I would be happy to let you take that risk because you're a grown up and you can make your own decisions. But it's not just your risk. It's my risk, legally speaking. I can get prosecuted for failing to make you look after your own safety. The organization could be prosecuted for failing to look after your safety. Your colleagues could lose their jobs if we get a fine big enough and if it hits the newspapers and it affects our reputation. Get them to agree that it's not just their decision to make. And if they have a family, if they've got kids, you could say, listen, I don't think I could look your wife or your mother or your father or your kids in the eye if something happens to you because I have not been firm enough. So there are a few actions you can take here, but here's the bottom line. Your duty to keep your staff safe outweighs your desire to give them an easy life. So hey-ho, get them to wear the seatbelts.